Hi, I'm Matt Brill. I'm an Enterprise Coordinator with the Careers Hub East Sussex in East Sussex County Council. I just wanted to put a very short video together of some hints and tips around apprenticeship applications. So first and foremost, check the eligibility criteria. If you have a qualification equal to or exceeding the one that you're applying for, the likelihood is you wouldn't be eligible for the apprenticeship as it is a trainee role. If you also have 12 to 24 months experience in a similar role to the apprenticeship that you're applying for, again, you probably won't be eligible. But never worry and or be shy about calling the employer on an advert or the company just to check beforehand. Check also that it's financially viable, that the salary will enable you to live while you're working and studying. In terms of good practice to do uh, when you're putting out an application, do research the company, whether it's East Sussex County Council or a corporate company elsewhere. Always do some research, anything you can find out about the team, the department, the, the company itself and drop that into your application will really stand you in good stead. Do also think about the your CV. So really have a full CV to accompany that uh, application with full details of your work experience as well as your grades, which are important for checking that eligibility uh, alongside it. When it comes to the personal statement, it's really important that you uh, address those uh, person specifications. So it may be that they're really important points are included on the advert itself, um, but also you'll have a, the job description which includes the essential and desirable person spec. So for each of those bullet points and each of those skills, uh, knowledge and experience required, you might just write three or four lines against each uh, just to dangle a carrot, say enough to show that you actually meet that competency or that you're working towards developing towards it um, and and sort of put it in a really clear list on your personal statement part of your application because that really will help help the reader. In terms of things to avoid doing, uh, don't send uh, CVs that are missing grades or, or, or work experience details. It's important that that's as, as full as possible. Make sure you bring in the right job and job titles. If you're copying and pasting information from another application, make sure you're making those tweaks if that, uh, to, to, to make it uh, specific to that particular apprenticeship role that you're applying to. As I say, account for any employment gaps. If you have gaps, do add any training courses, online CPD, any workshops that you've done in the time to show that you've been keeping yourself busy uh, and, and anything active that you've been doing in that time. We're in the middle of a pandemic, so we appreciate lots of people uh, are, have got employment gaps at the moment. So just, just account for those and acknowledge them where you can. I think the most important thing is ultimately do check as well the eligibility. As I say, if you're not eligible, it, it will potentially be wasting your time uh, in applying. So uh, always feel free to and, and confident enough to pick up the phone and speak to the hiring company uh, because it also places you in their mind and they might just be looking out for your application having spoken to you before. I hope a few of these hints and tips have helped. I wish you the best of luck in your search and at your next interview, and I hope that you get that apprenticeship offer soon. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.